All right, everybody, this is the last day of Anime CTX. We've been here in Round Rock since Thursday. Uh, we've had so much fun, but this last thing is a special treat we're doing for the show, and it's also the first time we're going to be doing this. Uh, you're used to seeing us with one guest at a time. This time, we're giving you the three-pack. Yes, you're getting so much bang for the buck on this one. Right now, we have Jerry Jewell. We have Miss Lauren Landa. And we have the lovely Lisa Ortiz sitting down here on the end. Yeah, man, thank you guys so much for doing this with us. Uh, so much voice talent right here. And you're all so humble and just amazing. And thank you for this. So I'm not going to ask you the crazy questions. Questions that I figure that you always get are, hey, how do I get into voice acting? I've gone to enough of these. You're going to say, it's acting. Right. Start acting. <laughs> Is there anything you want to add to that that they should know? Um, have a voice. That's yes. the first. Oh, we already covered that. Yes. yes. No, no. Yes. Here, here. Join. You guys have a thing to um, add? I, I would say definitely get involved in theater. Mm -hmm. Theater mm -hmm. tends to train you for mm -hmm. everything. Right. Uh, and start looking for uh, voiceover workshops. That really mm -hmm. generally tends to help, uh, okay. help you develop a character with your voice. So that's what I would recommend. Jerry, you think uh, you? Any classes you can take, especially the younger you are, start as soon as you can. Uh, speech, oral communications, drama, take all of them. Uh, and, and read. Read as much as you possibly yeah. can. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. And if you, if you can, read out loud and yes. record yourself and listen, get used to what you actually sound like when yeah. you're doing things. Because it's a yeah. little weird sometimes, like when you first oh, no. start. I, yeah. I did a uh, I did stand up before I came to this life, and when I heard my first album, I hated it. Uh. I actually hated it. I was like, that was some funny jokes, but there should have been a different voice doing those <laughs> jokes. I still that don't. I still don't like hearing the sound of my voice, and I've been doing this for about eleven years. So that's a good. Okay, so yeah. you've been doing this for eleven years. How about I've been doing this for longer than eleven years. <laughs> Girl, you look so young, I don't believe it. That's fine. I like she when people hot. don't believe she things. Hot. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry? Uh, 16 years. 16? 16 years. Oh, wow. A so, lot of experience sitting at this mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. And you guys, now I know the other crazy question that I always hear you guys get asked, what's your favorite? Can I just say general consensus? They're all your favorite? Is that pretty much for everybody? I usually put it this way. Do you have kids? Yes. Would you choose a favorite? And I'm with that lady that you talked about, not in front of them. <laughs> I would never them. pick a one in front of them, ever. But there are some favorites, some holidays, some. I hear you. Yeah, some Christmases, those gifts say, oh, you've moved into first place in the wheel of love. Oh, okay. I see. I see how we buy love at home. There we go. Yeah. All right. My, all my right. kids are doing some things now where I'm like, okay, we're jockeying for the final push of my life. That's what we're doing. So they know now. But that's definitely, it's like it's so hard to pick that one role when you go, oh, I love this role more than any. Well, we get used to, you know, when we start recording for a character, we tend to, you know, get attached to that character. And I mean, if it's like a one session deal, then I don't think we really get attached right. to them. But yeah. if it's like Yuri on Ice or if it's Lena Inverse or, you know, uh, mm -hmm. or I don't know, uh, What's one? Attack on Titan or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, we become attached to those characters. Right. So it's a little difficult to choose. You know, we. it's like choosing your favorite ice cream, so to speak. You, it's always changing sometimes, you know? <laughs> As you can see, I have the body of a god, and his name is Buddha. <laughs> and uh, I'm not picking a favorite ice cream. And my favorite at Baskin Robbins, can you put all that in just a cup and let's go? That's it. Go. So I know yeah, already has them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of, now, you're di doing directing work I also. I am directing, yes. I've been directing. Um, I took over, uh, I've been directing for years, but yeah. I took over uh, XY and now Sun and Moon for Pokemon. So I've been doing that for the past year and a half, yeah. How, let me ask you this then. How good was it to have that voice acting experience when you went to that side of it? Oh, I think it's, I think that's great. I mean, it's one, it's like you, it sort of blooms out of the same thing. But it's, it's really great because you have a sense of what's going on in there. And you kind of, you change your hats, but, you know, you're thinking about it inside. Oh, yeah. that's cool. And that's cool to have that background because you kind of know where they're coming from. So let me ask you guys this. One of the big things we kind of started getting this year was when you had the strike, Okay. And a lot of voice actors were affected by the strike. Were you? Video games? Yes. Were you guys affected by that at all? Uh, yes, in because I I live in Los Angeles and we do a lot of video games over mm -hmm. there, and we, I am 
part of SAG-AFTRA. So absolutely, it does affect me. Uh, for for pe- for actors in Texas though who don't do as many for Funimation I know Funimation right, doesn't right. do uh, many video, video games they only they mainly do anime so I think it's a different story for you guys though yes. well plus mm-hmm. plus Texas is exactly. the right to work state right so there's no so unions, there are no so. unions right yeah and I direct on both so it affects some of them but not all of them so okay so that's the thing that gives me because we kind of knew that we met with Robbie Damon. And he was on the show previously, and we kind of got into that with him. And then we talked with some of the guys who were doing, like, stuff for Steam and some of the smaller games. So it was really yeah. interesting to kind of hear where they were coming from mm-hmm. with that. Yeah. yeah. And then it did hurt that we worked for one of those big video game companies. We're not going to say their name, but it rhymes with EA. We'll just say that. <laughs> okay. There's been, there's, been a lot of, there's been a lot of stuff and a lot of folks I've worked with that have been hit hard by stuff that's been going on with that. But it, it's just on a case-by-case kind of thing. Yeah. So here's our thing. Because we learn, you know, how there's, like, no stuntmen when you come in and you do just motion capture. You know, there's nobody on the set to make sure that you don't get hurt and that you're affected by that. So for our listeners, what's a good way for them to support and to to voice concern and support you guys in that? What's a good thing for them? Mm. That is a tough one one, because there's not really a lot that – I mean, you can support you can support the actors, of course. Yeah. Just spread awareness of it, mm-hmm. uh, but you know, and, and you and know, contact the companies. I mean, it's a question of whether they'll listen. To right, what's exactly. Going on. It's it's to sort of reach out. It's a tough call. Yeah. So voting with your dollars definitely something that they can do. And these these days, a little a little social media pressure probably wouldn't hurt. Because mm-hmm. uh, we we got our eyes open to it, and that's been one of the things that we're starting to kind of on the show champion is like talking to the voice actors and hearing that plight because a lot of us just don't know because we sit on the other side of those video games right. in the right. community like the development yeah and, we well, s- yeah and it's different when you're doing when you're doing that side of it too because you see a different, a different absolutely on yeah you're kind of caught in the middle oh yeah and we never hear about oh you know this voice actor that's going to be in your game did this and we go most people don't know those names and we'll hear it and then unless they're you know like us and it's like you're probably too deep in the culture that's your problem but <laughs> Now, you said something pretty fascinating about video games yesterday. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We've been recording you secretly. <laughs> what did you say? Well, the thing that you said to us was, you know, talking to your son and about oh, yeah. instead yeah. of playing the games, it, you know, you could be doing you something. You could be doing something that can give you some actual skills in life. Uh, and, and, again, I do tell him there's nothing wrong with playing video games. I understand the idea of the gratification of doing something. You know, of saying, I beat the boss, or I made it through this level. And that's great, but how long did you spend doing that? Uh, Because whatever time, and I always relate it to him in music, because he knows that's what I've always done. Um, You know, in that four hours you were taken to play that video game, I could learn who knows how many songs uh, on an instrument Mm -hmm. that I've learned how to play over many years. But guess what? When the electricity goes out, I can still play my guitar. Yeah. What are you going to do? Mm-hmm. You're going to be bored and not have anything to do because you want to play that video game and you don't really have anything else. Um, so, you know, balance out your time. Still play your video games, but make sure you're doing something towards bettering yourself, you know, doing something with your time that will pay off for the rest of your life instead of something that's, unless you're going to become a professional video game tester. Uh, isn't going to get you very far. Well, I will tell you, I'm one of those lucky guys that when my parents say, you're never going to get paid for that. (laughs) 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 But there's not many of us. I had a friend from high school that we always thought he was joking. He always said, I'm going to go, I want to be a a game tester for Nintendo. And we're like, yeah, right, okay. That's exactly what he did. And and so it is possible. Those things do happen. But it's just like being a, a famous singer or a famous athlete. Your chances of that happening Very much true. are yeah. slim to right. none. So yeah. you either need to practice to be the best mm-hmm. or uh, find something else to do with your time. Okay. All right. I mean, I so much appreciate all three of you doing this for us today and just sharing your experience with us. Okay. Love having that stuff from you. Now, we know we can find you at VA Jerry Jewel on Twitter. Yes. Uh, uh, mine is uh, Lauren underscore A underscore Lando. Okay, because we were trying to find you. Yeah, we can never find you. Like, you do not know, like, if we type your name in on Twitter, your name is mentioned, but there's no at where we can find you at. Interesting. So we need to. Yeah, uh, mine, it's, well, because I, I think I, yeah, 
Yeah, no, I, d I just don't have my name as my, my Twitter handle. But it is Lauren underscore A underscore Lisa. We're going to be sending people that way for the fans to come find you. Lisa? And I'm Lisa Lease Jam, so L-I-S-A-L-I-S-E Jam. See, I'm not the only one that knows what you Yeah, no. But, I, but uh, my friends call me Pump Jam, so it's all good. Which, <laughs> when I, that's what I was thinking about was like, look, I know the song Lost in Emotion and the <laughs> damn steps, girl, so. You trying to make me catch feelings right here, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> guys, man, once again, thank you all for supporting us out through this. Thank you guys for coming in and being on the show with us. You can always follow us on that, Go Team Lift, and you can always get the information on how to find them. We'll have that on the page. Man, this has been great. Y'all have been great. Thank you so much. Thank you. And as we say every time, thanks for the support and peace.